Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this is me sat in my new desk area. Um, it's quite funny actually because I got a comment um, a couple of weeks back, or maybe actually a couple of months back now, um, saying about my desk area, as it was over there near the um, window, and um, it was all like nothing, I didn't have anything around it. Um, it was on all my Lightroom videos, I think it was the the portrait one or the preset one, um, and I got this comment. <laughs> it's quite hilarious. Uh, Hang some sheets in this room, spray WD-40 on a chair, create more depth on set of creative lighting, the audio and bland view made this difficult to watch. This has to be the most picky comment ever, but you're a pro, definitely appreciate this video, there aren't many quality tutorials like this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> kind of started off with a negative comment, but switched it around at the end, which I appreciate actually. That's actually a nice comment to hear. Uh, but yes, I'm in a new chair. This is my new chair. And I bought some <laughs> foliage. It's fake, by the way. That's not real, obviously. Uh, so a nice light, little light over there. I just put as, as, ma as many lights as I can, really, to make this kind of more atmospheric. So, yeah, quite boring. Just a desk and like nothing around. And my, my chair, if you guys knew, squeaked every time I moved on it. Anyway, that's not the importance of this video. This is, um, yeah, this is another Lightroom video. It's not so much a tutorial, but I'll be editing a, uh, a photo in this video, but it's more to look at this thing. This is called the Loop Deck. Um, probably some of you guys are familiar, but it is a Lightroom keyboard, which is insane. When I saw this thing um, for the first time, I was like, oh my God, I have to have this. You can basically twiddle knobs and stuff, and it does the Lightroom stuff for you, um, like saturation and stuff like that. So yeah, and then the guys actually reached out to me and sent me one. So that's cool, this is not sponsored, not paid for this video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a video on it. I haven't actually edited a full photo with this, so here's the unboxing anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna unbox this and then we should see what it does. Exciting, exciting stuff. Loop Deck, made in Finland. Is it a Finnish brand? I don't know. Um, some part of the world up there. Whoops, okay. Very nicely packaged, by the way. I'll turn it that way so you can actually read. Loop deck. Woo! Would you look at that? Um, export, before and after. All your different hues and stuff here. Uh, shadows, highlights, and all that stuff. So it's very cool. Piece of kit. It's the cable to go into the laptop. Yeah, pretty nice. Snazzy bit of kit. Plastic. It's got a very kind of Apple Mac presence to it. So that's there, that's the loop deck. In here is just some papers on how to use it probably, I think. Um, but when do I ever read that stuff? I don't. First impressions, it's quite, as I said, it's plastic, but it's quite decent. Um, it feels quite solid. Got little rubber bits here, so it doesn't scrape on your table. Nice, let's get it through onto the laptop then. Sorry, <clears throat> gotta keep it aesthetic as possible. Professional. Does that look all right? Oh, that looks shit. I do apologize, all that crap's in the background. But, does that hide it? Not really, but who cares? Yeah, okay, right. So, here we are then. This is the setup. As you can see, I've got my hard drive in here um, and it goes into the laptop just via USB cable. <laughs> Right, um, yeah, so you do get software with this, little loop deck sign. Um, you click that and then it, on a Mac, it goes up to here. Click the icon and it says loop deck is connected. So in the software you can config configure all your stuff um, and set profiles and stuff like this. You can go through here um, and set all these numbers up there to what you want. I haven't done this yet, I've just kept it as default. Um, as you can see, if I twiddle the exposure, we can change the exposure and it's it's cool because you can fine tune this. I mean, with a mouse, you, you come in over here and you're doing it manually or you're doing it with these little buttons here, um, and it's not fine tuned that much. But with this, it's every little point you can adjust, which I find that really, really good. So we're in Lightroom now, got the screen recorder on. Um, so we're gonna edit this photo today. From this point, I'm not gonna touch my laptop keyboard. I'm only gonna touch this thing. So let's see how 
well it performs. This image looks pretty bad anyway, it's badly exposed. So we're going to go to exposure and we're going to lower the exposure. Christ, this is very, um, very sensitive, which is good. We like that. So we're going to take down exposure, um, but don't worry about the shadows. We'll bump those in a minute. Exposure, and then where's the white balance? White balance is over here. We can make it warmer or slightly cooler. This is nice, doing this. And boost the highlights, I'll bring down the highlights. Shadows, I'm going to bump those right up. Whites, where's whites? This is so cool, it's all on the keyboard. Uh, blacks, where are we? Over here. Nice. I mean, this does seem really easy. Saturation relief, now I'm gonna have to move the mouse a minute. Now we come to the tone curve. Um, obviously there's no tone curve on here and, and it would be pretty impossible to do that, with, do that with knobs. So I'm gonna do that with the mouse only, not touch my keyboard. Just gonna check the before and after with one button. Oh, okay. I think you can set that for the whole image as well um, in the configuration settings. But we're just gonna keep it like that for a minute. Okay, hue, saturation, new limits. So if we click hue, we're on hue. Um, and with the reds, we can go up and down. Again, very fine tuned, very, very precise. Uh, but what's gonna change in this image is probably the oranges. Yeah. And the yellow. Bring that down a bit. And then saturation, you just sort of tap saturation. Uh, orange will bring down, yellow down. I'm doing my normal kind of edit here. Um, so then I'll go over to the blue and desaturate the blue quite a bit. There we go, there's my tones coming back in here. Oh shit, what was that? Okay, if you click, it goes back to zero. That's cool. Didn't know that. Right, there we go. There's my tones coming through there. Luminance. Aqua, what we got? Come on, give me some aqua. No. Blue. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down to split toning. I don't think you can do this on here. Remember, this is my this is my first impression, so I haven't been kind of using this day in day out. So. There might be settings for it, I don't know, but this is I've got it very basic at the moment. Uh, split toning, not gonna bother really actually. Uh, sharpening, where's that on here? It must be on here somewhere. Come on, give me sharpening. No. It's only got clarity. Again, if I'm being stupid, this is my first time using this. Um, sharpening, I'm gonna put some sharpening in there. So there's no grain on here, but then it might be in these, it might be in these P1, P2, P3 things. Luke that thinks you look great today. Well, thank you. Right. So that's pretty basically it for the basics. Now, obviously, don't get me wrong, the photo is not there yet. Um, so with this, I'm gonna just add a gra graduating filter through here and boost the shadows up so we can see the water more. So you might have noticed with the mouse now, I've done that very quickly compared to twiddling these knobs. Um, in an ideal setup, probably you're gonna have a mouse here, a, like a wireless one to do this kind of stuff, um, instead of reach, keep reaching over here. So that'll probably be ideal to have a mouse there. Before and after, what are you saying? Nice. It was a terrible image before. And we've brought back some, some color and some mood. Um, just gonna choose a brush. I'm just going to make this a bit darker over here. Okay, looking better, looking better. So the br there is a brush button here actually. Oh nice, okay, so you get brush, that's cool. I'm just going to go through here again. Very rough, clarity up. Right, before and after. So we've saved an image. I'm just going to do this on the keyboard as well. Right, so there we go. The photo is looking much better. So all I've done is use the keyboard to do the contrast, clarity, shadows, highlights and all that stuff and the hue, saturation, luminance. Um, also you can select the brush tool, which is quite cool. The only thing I've touched on my keyboard is 
the zero to show you the um, the brush where I've brushed and it goes red, you press zero. I, you, I don't think, you, I don't know if you can do it on here. Um, but yes, before and after button here as well, which is good. And the only other thing I've used uh, on my laptop is the mouse, which again, I said ideally you would have a mouse here, which would be a better setup, right? So that's done. Oh, actually, I do want to show you this again. Um, there's a rotate and crop wheel. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're already in. You don't have to click it, you just go in. So that's there. And also, this is, what's it doing it by? Okay, so that's not as fine tuned as the other buttons, other knobs. This is doing it by 40, by the looks of it. Or, yeah. But you can probably go into settings and fine tune that, fine tune that even more. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now let's go hit export. Brings up your menu. And blah, 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 blah. export. And there it is. Image done. <sighs> Tree's back. Okay, what can I say about this keyboard, Lightroom keyboard slash tool for your editing? Uh, it's awesome, it's wicked. Like, it's really cool how you can do the buttons and it's really nice how it's fine tuned. Um, there's a lot of things going on here which you can do with that. Um, as I said, you'd probably need a mouse, yeah, to be here as well with that so you don't even have to, have to touch your, your laptop. Um, conclusion, I would say probably, I, I edit every day really on Lightroom and I use my laptop every single day. Um, but I don't sit at a desk, I either have it on my lap, on a sofa or downstairs on a table or wherever so I'm always very mobile with a laptop obviously because it's a laptop apologize for my computer it's just rendering the screen recording it's very loud yeah I'm very mobile with my laptop so I'm not gonna sit there on my lap and, and then have this on my lap as well with a mouse it just wouldn't work so I say if you're kind of person which has your laptop set up or even a desktop if you've got a nice you know 5k screen to edit your Lightroom photos on to edit in Lightroom and edit your images on, that's very cool, that's awesome. If you have like a big monitors and stuff and you're sat at your desk and you only come to your desk to edit your photos, then yeah, this thing 100%. It's really cool, really easy to use. Um, as I said, I haven't been through all the configurations in the profiles and stuff. Go away. Yeah, I've been all through the configurations, but there's probably a lot more you can do with this thing. As I said, it's in the software and it looks quite easy actually to go in and pinpoint what you want in there. Um, but yeah, but if you're kind of mobile like me and you don't sit at a desk when you edit your photos, you're kind of more relaxed, then don't, you, well, you wouldn't. It would just be uncomfortable to have that sitting there as well. And I kind of get the vibe that you're kind of separated from the laptop and you're just on this. You're not really embedded in your edit. Um, when I was editing that photo, I didn't really feel that I, I don't know, I, I said this was very fine tuned, but then when you're on your laptop and it's right next to you, you feel like you're more kind of in the edit and using a mouse and stuff I don't know it just feels more kind of more personal with the photo um, with this it's kind of more mechanical and kind of more technical and it's like very fine-tuned um, so yes I definitely recommend it it's cool it's an awesome thing to have um, it's light it's easy to use it doesn't need any batteries it just plugs into your laptop you know if you only work at your desk and stuff um, this would be a very awesome setup and if you didn't have kind of a keyboard on your laptop and you had just a mouse, this, and a, and a monitor, that'd be sweet, that'd be awesome. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna put the before and after up on the screen now. Um, there's a drone shot taken on the Phantom 4. It was a very bad image to start with, but we fixed it, which is cool. All to do all on this. I only touched my keyboard about twice. Um, yeah, I just wanna see how efficient and easy it was to use. But yeah, very pleased with it. Let me know if you want any more stuff to do with this, um, any more details with like the settings and stuff which you can configure. Um, also more Lightroom tutorials if you do want them. Um, as I know people always DM me and say, oh, can you do more Lightroom, more Lightroom? Um, yes. So yeah, I will be doing more Lightroom if you guys want it. But yes, I wanna kind of focus on more vlog stuff and more kind of film cinematic stuff outside. Um, I know you guys like it and I'll continue to do them because um, that's what you guys want. But yeah, I look to do more kind of variety on the channel as always. I want to do. So yes guys, appreciate all the comments on my Instagram and my YouTube as always. Guys, cool. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.